calendars can be extremely useful when it comes to any kind of pre-planned scheduling for social media, a blog, newsletters, or all of the above. Today we'll walk through a quick tutorial on how to start with this Airtable template and build out a content calendar. We're going to start with this template provided by Airtable for the content calendar. You can go ahead and just hit use template once you've gone to this link. You'll see before you copy this base over that this has some apps in it and some additional analytics, campaigns and results, some things that may not be relevant to you, but we can start with this template setup and adjust it as needed for our business. So let's just go ahead and hit copy base and then make a few adjustments. So as you can see, I've copied this over into my Airtable and just added in a couple of col columns. So I've gone ahead and added in a uh, text column here. So let's take a look at it. It's long text. I've enabled rich formula and I've called this full content. That way I can have an entire blog post here. I've just put in some uh, fake text as well. Then I've added two additional columns, one for Twitter and LinkedIn and one for Instagram. You could create a separate column for each social media platform that you want to post to if you have different things you'd like to say. You could use uh, automations or formulas here to try and concatenate different things if you didn't feel like retyping that information and only wanted to use say your full content you could certainly pull in the headline and subheadline using the concatenate function and build out different uh, values that way as well for this tutorial we've just kept it very simple but you can see you have a lot of flexibility from there, we've gone ahead and just set up an automation. So we'll come over to our automations tab here and we're going to create a custom automation. So for this custom automation, our trigger is going to be when uh, a record matches a condition and we're going to use the content pipeline. And the condition we have is when the due date is today. So we can see here's our due date. You could also call this post date whatever would be more helpful, but you do need to have a date column at some point in your uh, setup here so that we can use this for our automations. Even if you're not using Airtable for your automations and you're using another automation tool such as Zapier, you're gonna wanna be sure that you do have a due date column in here or a post date column in here. So now that we know where that is coming from, we have the, the due dates, the post date as today. From there, we've skipped the main action and set up conditional actions. Airtable has built in automation so that we can post to Twitter, Facebook, and a social media scheduling app like Hootsuite. So you can go ahead and set up any of these that you would like. So all we've done here is then set up our conditional actions and we've picked our channels. So we'll take a look at this. So any of our field values and channels has Twitter. And again, these are all customizable. You can take some time and set up these automations in terms of what's relevant for you. So we could have different fields available here and you can see you, you can have multiple conditions as well. So we've set it up for Twitter that we're then gonna post a tweet to Twitter. Of course, I haven't added my account here, but you would just set that up as you would uh, any other account, just connect a new account. And then with our values, here is where you would choose the fields that you'd like to use. So if you wanted to use uh, the heading or subheading, for this example, I've gone ahead and just pulled in this column of Twitter and LinkedIn. And then again, you can add attachments. So we've put the image field in here as well. So when you set this up, you can go ahead and test it, of course, after you have the account selected. We've gone ahead and done the same thing. So this is a channel of Facebook. And then um, the action here is to create a Facebook post. So again, we can add more actions, we can edit these actions, and we've set it up the same way that we're pulling in the message. And we could also add links if we wanted that and any other images. Again, it's repeated here for Hootsuite. So you can see that we have quite a few options when it comes to using built-in automations with Airtable to get our information from our Airtable content database over to the different places that we would like. We even have the option to add another condition here. So maybe we want a condition here of when our channels equals the blog 
and then we can go ahead and come down and add an action and you can see that maybe we want to send a slack message to have someone now go post the blog um, we could put it on a, a Google Calendar if we have some sort of event related to the blog or if we're using this for our events as well. We also can send uh, through Outlook or we can send to Twilio and an SMS. So we have lots of options when it comes to the integrations here. If there isn't something that you see here that you'd like to run an automation on, don't forget you can always connect uh, Zapier and Airtable together to pull in this information and send it to multiple different places, including your website if you would like. So that is how you take the basic content calendar template and adjust it to become your automated content calendar. This will help you post across multiple social media channels, your website, keep track of events, and don't forget that this template does come with campaigns and results built in, so feel free to adjust this as needed depending on how you're using this template for your content in your business. Mm -hmm.